smart schools and you have a medium school and like a lower school. And that's already with 12, so you're quite young when deciding in which kind of school you go. And if you go to like the gymnasium, which is like more the, the more, you know, head working school, um, you then go directly to university afterwards. If you have one of the other two school types, you then go to a to a apprenticeship. And and that's really I think it's really gives people or for yeah, it gives people the time to think what do I really want to do? And for example, in the case of my brother, I think it was the best thing that could have happened because he just really grew as a person because of the interaction with real clients and real problems that you have to solve as a 14 to 18 year old in that time um, really you know, gives, a, gives you that experience. And I think that I know how to solve problems, often theoretically, but then practically I'm like, mm, I don't know if I could do that, you know? And that fear of doing something you've maybe learned and know a lot about. And I think my brother is way more, I can do that. I, he's very hands-on. I think that's really good for, for all types of people. And I think that if you look at unemployment, that those kind of people, they, they have the, you know, they know how to work in a company. They've done that since they're young. They also have a connection to a company. So if, you know, ever something was to go wrong in, in their life, they can go back to a, you know, small company, big company that they know. And I think that's really a key thing to people having good education and knowing what to do. So an apprenticeship is basically you go you work in a, in a small company. It's mostly like work with you know with your hands and more more you know so sort of basic work, which is like for example my technical drawers or people who think of how what material to use for machines, um, all the, these kind of things, or people who work with wood, um, and you go to school one to three times a week to, to study the theoretical parts of, of your apprenticeship and then you have the whole working in, in the work, real work environment with real clients with and you have one kind of tutor and mentor and after three to four years you're done and but then you have a real like, a, kind of not a diploma basically in that certain type of work and with that you can either decide to go work directly as if you work with wood and you make, I don't know, tables to make tables or you can go ahead and do an extra year of study and then go to university. And I think that's really important that education is very important and really long throughout your life. You basically have the opportunity to have education and to change your mind. Actually, we have four main topics we usually do. One is, of course, uh, the first aid. We have trainings, we teach people how to uh, provide first aid and we give them a chance to practice it, for example. Uh, the second one is accident simulation, which is really close to first aid. So basically, we train people how to fake wounds, how to make them, how to act like you are wounded and stuff. And uh, then, the people who learn how to provide first aid can practice. The third is face painting, because we have a lot of programs where we have to work with small children and they love face painting. So yeah, that's the third. And uh, the fourth is, which is close to face painting, is, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but we actually play with the kids, like small games and, and thinking with them and, and stuff like that. Actually, right now we don't have as many problems because now we can work as a team. Because in Budapest we have five employees who have to work only with the youth. I'm one of them of course. And in the years, in the past years, uh, we had several changes who was in the team or who not, who's not. Because uh, it's like a job which you can do near university or, or, or stuff like this. And basically everyone was working here for like a year, maybe. And then they were quitting this job to move on with their life. And right now we have a really strong team, actually. And it makes the job much easier to maintain every event, to organize it, to get the paper job done, to get the fundings and stuff like that. 